Hello folks, uh, this is 2019 October November paper 4-2 and the question number is uh, 4. This question is concerned with uh, uh, periodic motion or uh, we can say simple harmonic motion as well, oscillations also we can say. So it says that uh, a ball of mass M is uh, held on a horizontal surface by two identical uh, external springs as uh, illustrated in uh, figure 4. You know? So they are both tight here. Uh, spring. So one spring is added to a fixed point and the other spring is attached to an oscillator oscillator so it can oscillate like this the oscillator is switched off of course the ball is displaced al sideways along the uh, axis of the spring so ball displaced somewhat like this so if i do like this uh, this thing will compress and this thing will extend and is then released the variation with time t of the displacement x of the ball is shown like this so it means that uh, this thing oscillates here oscillates and uh, the graph is like this so uh, the graph shows that uh, the displacement was uh, highest in the beginning so that means we have done like this then it comes like here at that time it's like this when it goes here it comes it's like this when it comes back it's like this when it comes here it's like this and so on so as it goes on oscillating here the graph will be somewhat like this so we have to uh, first we have to state here what is mean by damping so damping is the damping actually means literally meaning is the uh, lessening of or decrease of amplitude of the motion motion as time goes by uh, the evidence provided by figure 4.2 that the motion of the ball is damped so the motion of the ball is damped the evidence is given by the, the graph of course so what I can say is initially the first amplitude was 1.5 centimeter and when it comes to the same thing same place here the amplitude becomes uh, you see it is, if it is 1 it is 1.1 and 1.15 so from 1.5, 1.5, it has become 1.15. Then it has become here, so 0.5 here is 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, uh, 0.85. So it becomes 0 0.85 and so on, centimeter and so on. So that means that uh, the ball is damping. Ball is damping. Now, the next question says the acceleration uh, and the displacement of the of the uh, ball are related by the equation somewhat like this so it's a very common equation for you know, spring system with the two springs where k is the spring constant of one of the springs so since there are two springs in parallel it will be uh, it will be um, 2k so one, for one spring it is uh, 1k the mass m of the ball is 1.2 kg so mass is given here use data from uh, 4.2 4.2 means uh, figure 4.2 means this graph here this graph here to determine the angular frequency omega of the oscillation so what we have from this graph is we have a equal to minus omega square x but here a equal to minus something x so that means we should have omega square should be equal to 2k by m which gives us uh, this gives us omega is equal to root uh, root uh, sorry not like this, not like this not like this we have to use the graph for that this purpose so for that what i need to do is in the graph i have got to uh, the time period here so from here to here the time is time is 0 0.8 seconds so that's why the time period is equal to 0 0.8 seconds and we have omega is equal to 2 pi by t so it's equal to 2 pi by 0 0.8 so if i do the calculations here it will give me uh, 2 into shift uh, pi divided 0.8 equal to so this is uh, equal to 7.85398 and so on so it becomes simply 7.85 radians per second so it is 7.85 radians per second now use an answer user answer in one to determine the value of k so now these equations come into existence so here i have got a equal to minus omega square x the real equation of uh, simple harmonic motion so this means that uh, uh, here it is uh, minus 2k m by mx so it should be omega square equal to 2k by m which gives me k is equal to m omega square by 2 so that means this k becomes equal to m is the mass is equal to large m here large m here this large m is uh, 1.2 kgs so it is 1.2 into omega is this much so it is 7.85398 square so when we have calculations we have to use the full values divided by this two so this becomes so i'm using the full value here square uh, into 1.2 divided 2 
so it is 37.01 so equal to 37.01 so simply i can write 37.0 newton per meter per meter so now now the oscillator is switched on so it means that this oscillator starts to move this oscillator starts to move like this more like this the amplitude of the oscillation of the oscillator is constant so it is its amplitude is kept constant the angular frequency of oscillation is uh, gradually increased from from uh, 0 0.7 omega to 1.3 omega where omega is the angular frequency calculated here calculated in p1 is here same thing 85 so uh, on the axis of figure 4.3 4.3 show the variation with angular frequency frequency uh, frequency of the amplitude a of the oscillation of the ball so we have to draw the variation of this thing variation of uh, angular frequency uh, of the sorry amplitude a of this thing uh, compared to the uh, compared to the angular frequency so what we have is this thing is this thing is uh, the angular frequency of the ball which means that it is its a natural frequency so when i oscillate the uh, oscillator when its frequency reaches this thing this thing the amplitude should be highest it's a case of resonance so at the 7.85 7.85 omega uh, it will be highest uh, 7.85 radians per second it should be highest omega so <clears throat> so now 1.0 omega means that 7.85 so that's why at this point at this point uh, the amplitude should be highest so from here the amplitude goes on increasing like this it goes increasing like this 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 this, this, this reaches the highest and then it starts to decrease decrease but when it decreases the rate of decrease is uh, slightly lesser than the rate of increase so this is the case so i can draw a vertical line here to show that uh, this thing is the highest so highest here is value now some sand is now sprinkled on the horizontal surface so, so uh, sand sprinkled on the uh, horizontal surface that means that uh, we will do it right here right on uh, so that some friction is increased the angular frequency is again gradually increased from uh, this to this state two changes that occur on the line you have drawn on this to this thing so we have to state two changes here so what happens is if i sprinkle sand here it will be increasing some degree of friction here so friction means that now what happens here is the amplitude decreases definitely the amplitude decreases so overall value of amplitude overall value of amplitude decreases so in the graph what happens here is what happens here the curve will be the curve will be below the original one the new curve will be so new curve new curve will be below original below original original at every point at every point every point and then the resonance occurs at uh, at uh, a lower frequency lower frequency it's because uh, uh, omega square is equal to 2k by m uh, 2k by uh, sorry uh, let's not go, uh, go for that so here here this is the uh, equation for without any hindrances so when uh, we have got uh, sand here so some other factors also get included decaying factors plus some something else so that's why um, due to friction the angle of the resonance the amplitude uh, the high amplitude occurs at a lower uh, lower omega so that means the peak the peak here this uh, peak the peak 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 shifts shifts to the to the left to the left so if i draw it though it is not required here so if I draw it, it will become somewhat like this. So it's below here. It remains below, 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 and it goes like this. Below, 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 below like this. So everywhere it will be below, and the peak also shifts to the left. So this is the answer to this whole question.